Testing aircraft jet engines before they are produced involves a series of trials to evaluate the engine's performance and reliability. These tests can be divided into two main categories, namely static and dynamic testing. Static testing. Static testing is conducted to test the engine components separately. This is done using equipment that can test the compressor, turbine, and transmission of the engine. Examples of static testing are Compressor testing, carried out to assess the compressor's performance, ensuring it can compress air efficiently and accurately. Turbine testing, conducted to gauge the turbine's performance and confirm that it can generate the power needed to drive the compressor and propeller. Transmission testing, performed to check the engine's transmission, ensuring it can transmit power from the engine to the propeller efficiently. Dynamic testing. Dynamic testing is conducted to assess the engine as a whole. It's done using engines integrated with all their components. Some examples of dynamic testing are testing operation under normal conditions, performed to evaluate the engine's performance under normal operating conditions, and to make sure that it can function well and efficiently. Testing operation under extreme conditions. Conducted to assess the engine's performance under extreme operating conditions like high pressure, high temperature, etc. Emission testing. Carried out to test the emissions produced by the engine and ensure they meet the set standards. Performance testing. Performed to assess the engine's performance, confirming that it can generate the power needed to propel the aircraft. All these tests are conducted at engine testing facilities equipped with the necessary tools to measure engine performance and analyze data. Once the engine passes these tests, it is then produced. But besides static and dynamic tests, there are other evaluations that are usually passed before production. Water and ice testing. Aircraft engines are developed and produced with great precision. But after being designed and developed into an engine, they are tested through a rigorous testing process. Here, we will see how aircraft engines are tested by shooting water and ice at them. The process of testing aircraft jet engines by shooting water and ice is one way to evaluate the reliability of jet engines before production. In this testing, jet engines are tested by spraying water or ice cubes into the operating engine. The purpose of this testing is to check whether the jet engine can handle extreme weather conditions like heavy rain or ice storms. Water ingestion testing is a standard procedure on jet engines. In this test, jet engines are driven through specially made water trenches. Manufacturers also spray streams of water into the operating engine. When General Electric conducted a test on the Gen X engine, they shot 800 gallons of water per minute into the engine. The water had to pass through the engine and be shot out the back without reducing the water's force. This test shows that jet engines can handle the heaviest rainstorms, and the engines can manage the water. Also, this test is conducted by shooting ice into the operating engine. This test mimics the effect of flying through an ice storm, and is performed to ensure jet engines can operate safely in extreme weather conditions like ice storms. Chicken testing. How did chickens come to aid humans in tackling bird strikes, a frequent scare in the aviation world? Bird strikes can happen when birds collide with the cockpit window or other parts of the airplane, such as one of the jet engines. Despite careful and meticulous development and design in modern airplane engines, Bird strikes rarely result in fatal accidents. Nowadays, there's one human fatality linked to bird strikes per 1 billion flight hours, though they very rarely lead to loss of life. However, bird strikes cause airplane damages costing around $1.2 billion every year, like what occurred during the emergency landing of U.S. Airways in the Hudson River in 2009. The emergency landing was due to a severe bird strike. To address this, airplane engine manufacturers have a simple but effective way to test the engine's ability to withstand bird strikes. 
One test for checking jet engine reliability before production involves throwing dead chickens into the jet engine. During this test, manufacturers use a weapon called a chicken gun to shoot frozen chicken corpses at the aircraft, including into the airplane engines. The purpose of this testing is to see how the jet engine would react if a collision known as a bird strike were to occur, potentially damaging the engine and causing flight problems. Bird strikes are a serious concern for the aviation industry, as they can cause damage to airplanes and threaten passenger safety. By hurling chicken corpses into jet engines, manufacturers can see how the engines will respond and hope to find that they will remain in good shape after a collision. Since the 1950s, fresh chicken corpses have been replaced with frozen ones. This testing isn't often done, but can be effective in evaluating the impact of bird strikes on airplanes. The test is performed to ensure passenger safety and to keep jet engines operating safely. However, it can also stir controversy, as it involves the use of chicken corpses, considered unethical by some. This testing is carried out in a well-controlled testing facility and is conducted with meticulous procedures to ensure safety and effectiveness. Moreover, the chicken corpses used are usually already dead, with no mistreatment involved, but some animal organizations and individuals still oppose this testing on ethical grounds. Explosion Testing Testing the explosion of airplane spare parts and their ability to handle fragments is one of the toughest engine reliability tests. This test simulates what happens when spare parts in the engine's ventilator come loose. It should never happen, but it has been known to occur. Explosion testing is one method used in the process of making airplane jet engines to test engine reliability. In this test, jet engine manufacturers will add explosive materials to a part of the jet engine being tested and then execute the explosion. The goal is to see how the jet engine would react to an explosion and whether it will remain in safe operational condition afterward. Explosion testing is carried out inside a well-controlled testing facility with detailed procedures to ensure safety. Besides, this testing is done on engines already manufactured and ready for testing not on engines meant for flying. This testing is performed to evaluate the performance and reliability of jet engines under extreme conditions. For example, how the jet engine would react if an explosion occurred in the fuel system or another vital part of the jet engine. During explosion testing, manufacturers will evaluate how the jet engine responds to an explosion and how it might respond to keep passengers safe. Moreover, explosion testing is also used to test performance and reliability in other extreme conditions, like extreme temperature or pressure. This is vital to ensure that the jet engine can operate safely and efficiently in various potential flying conditions. Explosion testing is a crucial stage in the airplane jet engine manufacturing process to ensure safety and reliability, but it can also spark controversy because of the dangers linked to the explosions used in the testing. Air testing. A test bed is a test airplane used to evaluate the performance and reliability of airplane systems and components before being used on commercial planes. Test beds are used to test jet engine performance, navigation systems, control systems, electronic systems, and other components on the airplane. Test beds can be used for ground or air testing. In ground testing, test beds test the performance of jet engines, navigation systems, control systems, and other components in land conditions. In air testing, test beds are used to test the performance of jet engines, navigation systems, control systems, and other components in air conditions. Air testing is done by operating the test bed under the same conditions as an operational airplane. For instance, the test bed is used to test jet engine performance under normal flight conditions, extreme flight conditions, and emergency flight conditions. Additionally, test beds are used to test navigation systems, control systems, and other components and conditions expected on operational airplanes. 
Test beds are also used to test system and component performance in conditions that may not be tested on operational airplanes, such as extreme temperature, pressure, or speed conditions. Test beds are crucial tools in airplane development and ensure safety and reliability before commercial use.